Mm. So basically, this this trip from um, Tagama to Darlington Point was a bit of Plan B, C, D, E, whatever. So, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you've got to learn to go with the flow. Cars packed, we yep. are ready to go and where are we going? We're in Tagama, heading towards Yarrawonga, about 20 minutes drive and we'll, yeah, we'll go to the information centre I reckon and just see if they can give us some information on what they're camping along the Murray and yeah we'll spend a week or so just maybe going to a few different spots just check them out and you know good let's yep. go okay Gil is at the information center at the moment in Yarrawonga I haven't got in with him because he takes forever to get in there and he chats to uh, hello. hello how are you how are you uh, yeah not real good babe Oh. Uh, yeah, how we're planning on going camping along the Murray for two, three weeks and yep. trying out a few different spots. Yeah, okay, not going to happen. <laughs> what do you mean it's not going to happen? Well, yeah, just uh, with all the rain we've had and it is winter and uh, all the camp spots are closed oh. along the Murray, like from here down. On the Victoria side? Yeah, oh, both sides. Both sides, but, okay. Yeah. All right, so no Murray. Where are we going then? Uh, what was plan B? Well, um, information said there's a place on Lake Mawaila. Kiffin's Reserve. It's free camp. So we'll go and check it out, I guess. See okay. What it's like. um, so that's on New South Wales? Yep. So we're going to cross over to New South Wales today. Yay! Woo! New <laughs> South Wales, here we come! <laughs> Finally, yep. We head north. Yeah. Get out of um, uh, Victorian winter. Yeah. Yay. All right, New South yeah. Wales, yeah. here we come. See you at Kiffin's Reserve. Kiffin's Reserve. Wasn't right. on the plan, but you know. Well, plans change. Yep, that's it. Okay. The joys of being on the road. See you then. <laughs> We didn't stop at the Kiffin Reserve. We decided to come straight to Tokemore. And what's happened? No, uh, uh, we were going to stay at Town Beach here because we've had a lot of good reviews on it. And yeah, um, yeah it seems like you know, photos and that looks like a good place to stay, but unfortunately it's underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Strike yeah, we, two. <laughs> yeah, we did hear of someone who tried to get into a camping spot along the river and they got and had to get pulled out so yeah we're not gonna do so, it so we're having lunch here at the bakery and then where are we going we're heading north finley finley yeah so we've read Keep there's a fingers <laughs> crossed. Uh, we've read there's a free camp there um so we'll just go and check it out next to the railway line i think yep hope there's no trains and see you in finley <laughs> see you then okay. cheers we made it to finley we finally found the the spot yeah. after the GPS took us detour, so we'll put in Run the address. Circles. We'll put in the address down below if you decide to come to Finlay. But Finlay, free camping is. Well, it's in a car park, basically. <laughs> there That's are, a car park. Yeah. There are toilets. There's a nice mural on the wall. Three pubs in town. I think one of them's closed for a while. To me, it felt weird sleeping in a car park naked. <laughs> well, we were in the caravan. Okay, well, we're in the caravan, in the car, but you're getting undressed and you know you're in a car park. Right. Um, it's not the first time we've slept in a car park naked, mind you. Uh, sorry, in a <laughs> caravan, in the car park naked. Uh, please clarify, it's <laughs> um, G-rated here. <laughs> when we had a shop, when we had the shop, there was a big car park, a gravel car park at the back. And about every year, there used to be this guy who would mm. come in a little motorhome. You class as a motorhome? So yeah, yeah. A no, little no. tiny yeah, one. Yeah, 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 just a, yeah. And he would camp motor, out the camp, back. Camper, camper van. He would camp out the back in, in our car parking area for about a month. And we used to, because we were, we end up getting up like really early and coming to work really early. 
and the staff would even say we we named it the creepy van because we'd say well, yeah. the, cre the creepy man the van's back so gil's goal <laughs> before we left victoria was before we left melbourne yeah i wanted to <laughs> sleep in the caravan park, in the caravan in the car park in the car park behind our shop <laughs> which we did we did so, so our first night on the road was in the car park mm. in Maroo Bark in Victoria. Yes. Behind, behind our behind. shop. Yeah. Mm. So those people who live in the units next door, the lovely ladies that live there, that was us. I did go and visit the police station. We're, yeah, just to give them a heads up. We're going to stay there the night. Um, yeah, it doesn't say no camping or anything. Uh, and there was a guy that, as I say, the creepy van was there. He was there for months at a time. So we achieved that goal. Yeah, that. it felt a little bit a little bit weird, but um, it was a tick. I'm sure there'll be more car parks yeah, on the side cool. of the roads that we, we camp on in the future. But yeah, quite fun to park in the car park at Finley. Yeah, for free. For free. Sometimes I lose my mind and some days it's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side. You and I. What do you think? Well, the river's not. It was a bit skinny to get in entrance-wise. Yeah, to get into fairly, it. Yeah, fairly yeah. narrow. There's a, like a cattle grid or whatever, a bit of a hump, and you got to line your car and your van up a bit of a bit of a corner. So you just got to, I suppose, be careful getting in. Yeah. Quite a few of the tracks were not caravan friendly at this particular stage, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Wet. We, Boggy. We, we did get to uh, a spot and I did stop the car and get out and walk and I thought, no, there's no way. Plus yeah. other people come up to us and said, don't go down there. Don't go down there. It's, yeah. it's, it's muddy. Yeah. It stayed on the, the river, really close to the river. I don't like heights. Um, and there was a big crevice. Oh, a bit of a crack in the ground it was sort of um, a, a big crack like yeah, it was. literally like a gutter right and we had car car on one side and the caravan on the other side and all i could think of that it's going to rain and then we're gonna just part and lose and the tree and everything's going to fall in so it's very shady there it's the most scariest place i've stayed at because at the height and the, the fear that we're going to fall into the water <laughs> It was basically, uh, if I'd um, looked at it from a distance before we parked there, I wouldn't have parked there because yeah. the, the bank was quite undercut and there's a tree holding it all together. But basically, the tree's half, half yeah. falling into the water. Well, it's not it half, was not. It was. It was sort of yeah. derooted a bit. <laughs> yeah, it was, if the tree had gone then, well, yeah, it would have been a bit of, we might have been in. We might have been floating down the river. The good thing about this place, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful place to stay at. It was a little bit freaky for me, but um, I, I think if we were a little bit further back, so we did have another caravan in front of us, so it meant that we couldn't move any far forward, otherwise we were restricting them and us from getting out. So we, we packed where we did. We were being considerate to other campers yeah, around us, basically. Yeah. Luckily they left in the morning, so we could just drive out through there. Uh, there's there's a photo of it. Yeah, we could drive out through their site to get out, so we didn't mean that we had to try and manoeuvre out. But um, the tracks the next day, people that we met in the next caravan over, Bob and Helen, Bob went and actually pulled someone out of one of the tracks. He got bogged with his car and, and caravan, caravan in it. Um, Apparently on a bit of an angle, the, the caravan, so interesting. Yeah, so we made friends out of where we were. A little unexpected hitchhiker on, on the way. So yes. Gil was travelling along the Kidman Way, towing a caravan, and we had this unexpected huntsman who decided to climb from the dash. This is inside the car, onto the side of Gil's window, and proceeded in coming closer to him. We got down to the, behind the door, hand on the back of the window. <laughs> the roads were very narrow there, the trucks coming the other yeah, way. There was no pullovers, there was no truck stops, there was nothing where we were. When we could finally find a spot 
to pull over. The huntsman had traveled back onto the dashboard. His beady eyes were staring yeah. at me, they heading were. straight for me. And um, away from me, which is good. Picked him out the door. So he's someone else's problem now. Yeah. Come to a different camping spot. Yeah. Mm. I'll hitchhike on somebody else's. Well, we hope you enjoyed the videos that yeah. we are creating. We would love to hear more comments so we know what to do. Yeah, we're learning. What you like, what you dislike about it. <sighs> we're still learning. We're still learning. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm learning to um, take more videos of where we are rather than just photo, photo, photo. Mm. Yeah, that's a learning curve. We are learning, hopefully getting better and hopefully you're enjoying it. And Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like to see some madness on the road? Just watch us. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. All right. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Cheers. How come that's open and it's not flooded? Well, it's above the dam, so it's oh, controlled. Damn it. What? <laughs> damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <It's co> <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to call it a weir or a dam? Yeah. the fact